Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how can we find out a delimiter in a dynamic way. So what does it mean is that we have one file that is test.csv. Okay, and if I show you the data, the data look like this, this ID name, ID age name, these are the columns and then this 123 Sagar is the data. Now you can see this CSV file is being separated with the pipe delimiter. Okay, this could be, this could be comma. Okay, this could be semicolon, this could be anything. For this case, I am taking this pipe. Okay, now the scenario is that there is one file, let's say file now name.csv and here the delimiter, delimiter, delimit, delimiter is Type this symbol. Suppose there is another file, okay, another file present. Name is file name one dot csv, and here the delimiter delimiter is comma. Likewise, there is another file which is having the delimiter which is having the delimiter semicolon. Now, in that case, what we need to do, we need to write down a multiple uh, uh, multiple code to load the data, to load this file into the data frame. So we have to make it dynamic. So how we can do, we'll see. For that, I have opened my database and this is the path. Now, what if I do, if I try to simply read this, uh, you know, this CSV file using a read API and if I do here display then you can see over here that this look like this because I haven't used here some options so I have to use here header is true okay and then I have to use option what separator step or delimiter we can use anything and here I can write I will write pipe and if I do uh, run then you can see now this data looks correct but I have to make this you know in a dynamic way so that you know I will write some code and it will automatically fetch the record uh, fetch the delimiter for that what I will do I will first import RE and I'll try to create one function, let's say f dot get dot delimiter. And here I will pass, I will pass my path. So let's say I'm passing here source file path. Now what I will do, I will write here try and sorry try and I will use header list is equal to I will try to create a RDD. So I will write here text file, okay, and uh, I will pass it, pass it this uh, this parameter, and I will take only first first row because because in in each of the CSV files, you know, uh, I mean if I mean uh, all those are being are being separated by one delimiter only, one separator only. It it cannot be like this. Sorry, if I just copy it, it cannot be like this. Okay, so here if it is pipe, then this also should be pipe, and second rows also should be should be separated with pipes only. Correct. Okay. Now that's that's done. Here. What I will do, I will create one header, uh, header underscore string, str we can call it, and then I will try to join this, okay, with header list. Cool. Now what I will do, I will create one more uh, variable that is called result, and I will use here regular expression, and I will call this search function, and here. In such function, I will pass my expected delimiter, delimiter or separator we can say. So I will write down comma, pipe, semicolon, 
backslash okay that's done i believe yes and in second parameter i will pass it i will pass i will pass header underscore str that is also correct <coughs> now i will simply return my result okay dot group and here i will write accept accept exception as err and here i will write some message let's say print uh, error occurred and str of err that's done just run this run this function so i am defining my functions i have defined it now simple thing is that if i <coughs> if I call this function with this path okay with this path it should return me pipe Sorry, I have done some mistake. Result dot group right header sc. I dot return none type has no object group. Why it is coming? Header list take one. Okay, if I print here this, then we'll see. <laughs> this is also correct, this is also correct, this is also correct, also correct. Okay, I did one mistake over here. And now if I run this, and if I do this, then you will see we have this pipe. Cool. So, because I, you know I have used a backslash, so it did not find out this delimiter. That's why it returned uh, none. Now, if I remove it and if just run this function, then you can see this pipe is my delimiter. Delimiter or delimiter, what we can say, you know, separated. Okay, so what I can do, there is another CSP file, right? I believe this is only the CSP file. Okay, this is, yes, if it is being stored, then I can, you know, show you the another example. So if I do here, dbutils.fs.ls, run it, attach and run. Oh, okay, it's running. It's not stored right let me just do this then we'll see what are the files are present so this book book this one i can take it okay so go back here just change the path right and try to run this now you will see this no this comma is and what then what i will do then what i will do this is this into you know into with some variables daily meter something like this right and then you do your data frame spark dot read dot json sorry not json uh, <coughs> option okay option header to option uh, header to option uh, uh, uh separator and here i will pass this delhi meter and then csv and pass here the same thing pass here the same path okay so what we can do 
what we can do we can simply we can simply create one more function you know kind of generic function and then we can uh, do so something like that i can show you also that a small function uh, let's say f dot load okay and here also i will pass the same path and just write down this return df header to some everything is same source path pass it over here okay cool just run this and then f dot load f dot load is ko yahan pe karo and then what i can i what i will do i will just copy this and paste it over here okay and just do display of df the magic now okay so this is a way to create a dynamic delimiter tool or utility or a function we can call we can say okay so if you see this kind of you know requirement in your in your project then you can use this function and i hope you have liked this video and understood the concept if you do do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited and yeah bye bye